हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब लर्निंग चैनल एक्यूरेट ए एस एम ई आई एस ओ कंडक्टिंग द बायस स्टडी इनफॉर्मल और फॉर्मल वे इज ऑन गोइंग प्रोसेस इन एवरी क्वालिटी डिपार्टमेंट इंजीनियर्स वॉन्ट टू एश्योर दैट द रिजल्ट मेजर्ड ऑन वन सिस्टम आर ऑथेंटिक एंड कंपेरेबल वर्ल्ड वाइड with another measuring system unfortunately very few understand that the right method to carry out such study of comparison or correlation or more technical way of msa called as bias study in this learning video we try to explain step by step procedure how to conduct a msa bias study please do not forget to subscribe the channel and share so let us begin now there are various types of dimensional measuring instruments used in the manufacturing industry it begins with surface table instruments like vernier caliper micrometer two mid range sophisticated measuring machine like roundness tester universal length measuring machines and up to very high universal 3d coordinate measuring machines with different probing system and application software general expectations of quality personnel are results measured on any of the two different measuring tools should be correlated in this video we have limited the scope in general to understand the bias study as a method taking some examples of cmm machines what should be the right and authentic way to compare two measurement systems the answer to the question is found directly from the reference manual of aiag group that is msa measurement systems analysis aiag is an automotive action group this guide will help to assess the quality of measurement system and this assessment will further provide the basis where improvement can be made the result is knowledge that can be used to improve your measurement process in turn improving repeatable product quality repeatable product quality is very much dependent on the repeatable measurement quality so as correlating the measurement result very first it is important to understand the scientific meanings of terminologies used in the ms study the first would be repeatability repeatability is variation in the measurements obtained with one measuring instrument when used several times by one appraiser called the operator while measuring the identical characteristics on the same part it means measurement range with single instrument single person same part same characteristic and constant environmental conditions it is the variation in successive short term trials under fixed and defined conditions of measurement repeatability should not be with large number of measurements but optimum in a short time where all conditions can remain constant it is commonly referred or known to as ev equipment variation it is instrument or gauge capability or gauge potential it is within system variation or it is within one system variation 
reproducibility reproducibility is variation in the average of the measurements made by different appraisers or different users using the same gauge or instrument when measuring a characteristic on one part for product and process qualification error may be appraiser environment like time or the method it is commonly referred to as av appraiser variations it is between system variation or also called between conditions variation true value true value is actual value of an artifact or a part it is unknown and unknowable in the given specification table for the slip gauge set nominal value and the tolerance range is tabulated within the tolerance range anywhere the true value may lie but it is unknown reference value reference value is accepted value of an artifact it requires an operational definition it is used as the surrogate for the true value since true value is not known then a value taken in consideration is called as the reference value traceability traceability is the property of a measurement or the value of a standard whereby it can be related to stated references usually national or international standards through an unbroken chain of comparisons all having stated uncertainties the purpose of traceability is to keep track of and record the history traceability ensures that a manufactured part or calibration is accurate and will meet the desired specifications for the application bias bias is the difference between the true value or reference value and the observed average of measurements on the same characteristics on the same part bias is the measure of the systematic error of the measurement system possible causes for excessive bias are part size position operator skill fatigue etc instrument may needs calibration worn or damaged master or error in master itself wrong gauge for the application different measurement methods setup loading clamping techniques distortion of a gauge or a part environmental conditions like temperature humidity and vibrations cleanliness etc before performing the measurement measurement strategy and planning is very important measurement planning the planning stage will set the course and have a significant effect on how well the measurement process operates and can reduce possible problems and measurement error in the future measurement strategies before starting the measurement program study the complete drawing requirements measurement requirement has a purpose either results are important for production or important for function of the assembly and the customer interest measurement strategy will change in the case datum requirement and available accessibility on the component need to understand very carefully sequence of measurement and measuring points numbers and distribution on the features are also important 
प्रोप टाइप मेजरिंग स्ट्रैटेजी लाइक स्कैनिंग और डिस्क्रीट पॉइंट मेजरमेंट्स प्रोब ओरिएंटेशंस एक्सटेंशन बार्स एंड स्टाइली डायमीटर्स प्रोब एक्सेसिबिलिटी ऑन द फॉर फीचर्स प्रोग्रामिंग पैरामीटर्स लाइक ट्रैवल स्पीड मेजरिंग स्पीड अप्रोच रिट्रैक्ट एट्सेट्रा ऑल दीज थिंग मेक ए गुड मेजरमेंट एनवायरमेंटल कंडीशंस क्लीनिंग ऑफ द मशीन एक्सेसरीज एंड कॉम्पोनेंट थर्मल स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ मशीन एंड द पार्ट सी एम एम एंड पार्ट्स नीड मिनिमम फोर आवर्स ऑफ टेम्परेचर सोकिंग इन केस ऑफ लार्ज पार्ट्स इट मे बी एक्सटेंडेड अप टू ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स ह्यूमिडिटी एंड टेम्परेचर शुड बी वेल विद इन द स्पेसिफाइड लिमिट of 20 degrees plus minus 2 degrees or as specified by the manufacturer steps to conduct bias study obtain a sample and establish its reference value relative to a traceable standard if one is not available select a production part that falls in the mid range of the production measurements and designate it as the master sample for bias analysis measure the part more than 10 times in the gauge or the tool room and compute the average of the n readings use this average value as reference value have a single appraiser or operator measure the sample more than 10 times in the normal manner conclusion steps to conduct correlation study on cmm obtain the reference value by measuring the part more than 10 times on cmm a and compute the average of the n readings use this average value as the reference value a measure the same sample more than 10 times on another cmm b and compute the average of the n readings use this average as the measure value b now the correlation or the bias c is equal to the reference value a minus reference value b c is equal to a minus b is the bias between two measuring machines i hope that you like this video and i'm sure you will subscribe the channel and share it to the others for training inquiry please find contact details as given thank you very much friends bye by the time next video